Hey, Wave House family. Great to have you with us for this very special moment with a very special couple um, who I have the privilege uh, of calling friends and uh, have journeyed um, with life and community for a number of years now. Well, but Hazel, Yay. thanks for jumping in with us today, having yeah, a cheeky little chat. That's great. Thanks um, for inviting us. Yeah, yeah no, it's great. To a leaving party. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, guys, we just I think I felt like we just really need to just have a little little mm. chat to you guys. Obviously you're in this big season of transition and change. Um I think it might be really helpful actually just to start with if you could just tell us a little bit about um what you've been doing in the life of the church family, sure. how you've been serving and in what capacity. Yeah. Uh, and you've been here a number of years now, so maybe if you just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Yeah, it's it's an interesting time to say the least, and um, both of us have been involved in ministry here. Um, but my position at the moment is that I'm due to retire from paid uh, work with the church. Um, we've been here for 17 years plus, yeah. uh, 18 in January, um, and uh, God called us down here. That's a, a whole story in itself, which we could take hours at. But it, you know, God's amazing how He called us. Yeah. Um, but I've been working in a in a paid role for. 12 years and a 10 months exactly at the end of the month 12 wow. nearly 13 years i've seen a lot come a lot go and lots of exciting things some challenging stuff which we'll talk about in a minute and you worked in turnaround didn't you when you first I came did. out i did i was the administrator when uh, michael and maria bunyan was there so i've i've worked through underneath a few uh, turnaround directors yeah. in my time and then i moved into doing the administration and then moved into helping Robert with finances. So I've been wow. a part of it actually longer than Robert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in turnaround before Robert started work. So I can yeah. remember quite frustrated when you were working for, with the church and I wasn't because I came down here as an accountant and, and joined an accountancy firm here. Quite frustrated waiting for you coming out <laughs> in an evening. It was like, I wish I could get involved with the church. And, uh, and it happened. Yeah. Um, and um, I've served as the finance officer here for uh, about for most of the 12 years. Yeah. Um, but I was also on the old ship, yeah. as it was called in those days, and also as an assistant pastor for a while yeah. uh, with Mike Robbins, um, and stepped down from both of those roles um, uh, last year, yeah. about this time. Um, and at the end of the day, it's much more than a job. You know, it's so different to, to being out there, you know, in the, in the world, as we call it, where you've got a fairly clearly defined role within the body of Christ. You're always doing this, that and the other. Um, and, the, and there's an amazing amount of variety. That's sort of the positive side. Yeah. So, you know, I'm putting out chairs, making coffees, clearing away after a Sunday, um, making sure the rubbish gets taken out, all those sorts of things, you, all those joys. You know, you do along as well as the clearly defined stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, coming wow. to that point in life where we get a pension at mm. the end of this month. Whatever <laughs> that is. You don't look old enough. Thank you. Thank you. No, tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just kind of think of 17 years. I mean, that's... that's uh, you know, you've faithfully served the Lord here and his people yeah. in, in all of those capacities, you know, in a pastoral function with the finances. I mean, they're, you know, big areas of the, of the in the life of the church family. Yeah. Uh, what a, and you mentioned turnaround as well. I, mean, I, I remember did. working with you in turnaround. Yes, you did. Uh, when I was a little... Oh, you and, did, uh, yeah. And you were like, you Little Britain. Did. I was like, that's oh, Little it. Britain. That's <laughs> me, Little Britain. Yeah. yeah, that's me. Yeah, and I think that probably was one of the, the highlights um, really and actually Robert and I took over for about 18 months as house parents and that uh, to me because God had said to me when we came down that I would be the mother of many sons and that was just a fulfillment um, actually being house parents I absolutely loved it because yeah. the boys would come in and we would have roast dinner together and just family stuff together yeah and, and to me that was a highlight yeah and i was so blessed to be able to do that wow real really blessed fantastic yeah, yeah, yeah great days uh, so 17 years for you guys that's a long time that was one of the highlights for you have, have, you, have you got any highlights robert that kind of <laughs> stand out in your head over those times of 
uh, bits that you would like to sort of look back on and really give God thanks for? Well, I'd like to say it was the elders' ret retreats to Bernard's Acre and Epiphany House when this guy, uh, a younger version of this guy, <laughs> used to get away with such <laughs> incredible pranks. I remember, I think it was one occasion we were at Epiphany House and he decided he was going to put a, a trolley with cups and things in front of a toilet door where he thought one of us were and we were all sat in the other room and suddenly one of these members of staff came out and wondered what on earth was going on. <laughs> Tim's are here. <laughs> I don't know what the heck he's talking about. That's just totally out of character. That, that was one of the, the nicer ones, the yeah. kinder ones. The heat above the water was the one that upset yeah. us a bit. But yeah, it was great fun. We had great fun. Yeah. Um, but I guess in terms of, of highlights, I think it was serving on that that eldership um, team, yeah. uh, both with you guys and, and, and many others, actually, over yeah. the years. Yeah. Um, think people have come and gone. Um, and sort of um, taking some big faith steps um, as a church. We're sat in, sat in the, the Wesley campus this morning and uh, we've not always owned this place. And we, we took a, a step as the church was growing to buy the place, yeah. uh, not knowing where the money was coming from, uh, running around putting buckets out where the water had come through the roof and all that stuff, yeah. sitting in a freezing cold building. Um, but now we sit in a glorious place, yeah. you know, that God's given to us. So it was taking those big faith steps Turn around next door, yeah. you know, um, hasn't always been on the church's radar, but God opened the door uh, for that yeah. uh, and amazingly provided. And I guess the other, the other one really which sticks in my mind was the exciting season when we planted out at Red Ruth. Yeah. And God amazingly provided a, a building free of debt, wow. <laughs> um, you know, through the generosity of somebody in the church. Um, and, and God opened a door for the kingdom of God to grow in that whole area. And of course, now the engine house is, is thriving. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, it's just a, a blessing to think that we were a part of that yeah. in, in, in its early days. Yeah. And um, yeah. so, yeah, for me... Um, that that was great, and I think the third one um, was probably um, God doing things um, in a way which would probably would have broken our rules, what we would have expected. Yeah. Um, the number of times that people came into this building, I think back now as I just look out uh, over the building, people came in and sat at the back or sat in the foyer almost and gradually came closer and closer uh, and, and gave their lives to the Lord. Wow. I think it was Tim Seddon who, yeah. who went off to Teen Challenge, of course, and we've yeah. seen him around recently, yeah. whose experience was he came in here in a drugged up state, yeah. sat on the back row listening to the worship team practicing, and God began to speak into his heart. Come on. And now he's serving out there, yeah. you know, been working with Teen Challenge for, for a number of years. Yeah. Um, and, and it shouldn't work that way, yeah. you know, we're told that people don't get saved in church buildings. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when you're faithful in preaching the true gospel yeah. uh, and allowing the Holy Spirit to move, yeah. God surprises us yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah. in really, really good ways. Yeah, come on. You know, yes. and, and that, that was another highlight. Um, yeah. yeah, so I think that's... Oh, yeah, one more. Fulfillment mm. of specific prophecies yeah. um, that God gave to us. Mm. You know, we're down here because way before we came, God was speaking to us about our future prophetically. Yeah. And um, again, I can't go into all of that, but um, random people uh, spoke into our lives prophetically about the doors God was going to open up. We were going to stand still and we were going to be amazed at God's provision, etc., etc. Um, and especially over our children. Yeah. Um, you, you, you shared the one about turnaround, mm. but all our sons would be taught of the Lord yeah. is a word that God gave to us because we were leaving them all up country wow. in Mansfield. Wow. Uh, and sons, of course, includes daughters. Yeah. 
uh, my son and daughter are now down here. They followed been, down. They followed. Yeah. 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 Matthew, our, old, our youngest, got really upset because he said it's always it's always kids that lose, leave home, not parents that leave the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Matthew came down here uh, for a while, for a season, yeah. and now out in Australia. Um, so God fulfilled loads of specific prophecies. And still is doing, isn't he? Still yeah. giving us stuff, which uh, some of which we haven't got the fulfilment of those prophecies yet, yeah. but we're holding on to them because yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we know that God's God's in control. Brilliant! Yeah, That's fantastic. Yeah. That's so, the key. There's lots of lots of stuff to kind of look back and give thanks for, but also I'm, I'm, I'm sensing with some of the stuff we're sharing here that there's an element of future there's still stuff that god is gonna do in your life yes, still and yeah. he hasn't finished with you yet has he and there's that saying isn't there you know we, we never really retire from yeah. the lord's work we never stop you know yeah. the, the assignment may change but actually yeah. we never really retire so yeah. i just wondered what are you guys sensing that maybe god might be leading you to in this in this next season mm. Mm. Do you want to throw anything in there? It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is a hard it's one. It's great to look back at God fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. harder when you're sat on the other side yeah. Yeah. waiting, waiting. For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know that, that that God's in it, even though um, it's it, we don't understand where He's taking us. You know, we, but God, it, it's not good for us to have all the answers to everything. You know, it, it help it, it causes us to live in hope, doesn't it? Yeah. And in, you know, and holding on tight to what God's got for us. And that's, I think, at this point in time, that's where I'm at. Okay, God, I know you've got something, and you'll you'll show me, show us the next step yeah. when it's in your time. And it's yeah. obviously not in God's time yet. So until it is, I'll just come continue to serve as much as I can yeah. in whatever way God gives me to serve him in wow. yeah. Yeah. never you're right you, you don't retire um, I hate the word retire no. and it's a really horrible word as far as I'm concerned it's yeah. not a word I like to use because you don't retire and you know I always want to be available to what God's got for me yeah. you know however simple that is whatever it is whatever task it is I'm, I'm ready for it you know it's mm. like okay god bring it on yeah. you know and, and, and even though i'm a little bit afraid of what god's got for us next you know but i'm dead excited really deep down in my spirit yeah. it's like wow you know knowing what god did when he brought us down here <clears throat> and that shouldn't have happened yeah. in our natural sense mm. that that was not possible but god mm. made it all possible yeah, yeah. Um, you know and so i'm excited into what it's going to do brilliant yeah yeah and um that that sense of 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 what next lord um i think one thing that god's been speaking to me about is um not picking up anything that god hasn't told us to pick up come on my natural tendency over the last 15 years if there's a job need doing and i could do it i'd get in there and do it um, which is, is a, a, all right, that's fine, yeah. but sometimes I've got swamped with stuff that I've been doing and I've maybe missed the perfect will of God. Yeah. Um, and I think this has been a season over the last couple of years and still is to some extent a time <clears throat> when we keep our, our hearts and minds open and, and don't grab hold of things and fill our hands with stuff that that stopped God giving us any more yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We're, we're, we're not picking anything up that God doesn't want us to pick up it's not yeah. that we're not interested we're just in that season where we we you know we're just abiding yeah yeah and, and waiting then I mean I yeah. think this is yeah. I don't know you guys I mean my, my experience of ch- like if you're involved in a busy church it's got lots of activity it's quite easy yeah. to jump in and serve there yeah. jump in and serve yeah. there but actually yeah. that season of just kind of waiting on the Lord you yes. know you think Mo- Moses was 40 years waiting in yeah, the back in and beyond the, the desert, yeah. and then he was 80 when he got his call, and off oh, he yeah. goes, and God you know, meets him and gives him an assignment, yeah. and off he goes. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. That whole thing of transition is, a, is, a, is an interesting uh, you know, thing. Yeah. We all go through seasons of transition, transition yeah. from you know, being an adult, a, a child into an adult, and then having kids and family, and then mm. like, in, in this season of life, I mean, what would you advice would you say what are you learning um, around this whole thing of transition how do you do that well 
Those of you that have been there, come and talk to us later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That it's that it's. If if I'm honest, it's uncomfortable. Um, you know, laying things down that you've done for a long time is it, quite uncomfortable. I'm a I'm the kind of person that I like to be doing stuff. I like to be busy. I like you know. Um, and so uh, I, f I find it a little bit uncomfortable, <laughs> the transition mm -hmm. of it. But we've just got to hold tight onto God and, and abide in him, like you say. You know, you've just got to keep talking to him. And when I'm, you know, when I'm driving the car or when I'm at home, I just talk to him as though he's sat at the side of me, yeah. you know, because he's my dad. He's yeah. my yeah. heavenly father. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, um, he's daddy. And, and I can tell him anything yeah. because he knows all about me. And so I know even though in the natural it's uncomfortable that God is in control and he's got something amazing. Yeah. I have no doubt that, he, that he's got something amazing. But in the natural, you do feel uncomfortable mm. because, you know, you want to be in control, and, yeah. but you can't. You know, yeah. got to let go and let God yeah, do it. You let go and let God. I yeah, like that. Wow. Let go and let God. I mean, as a as any preacher has, I've got four points here. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, normally I have three, but I've, I've grown. You've got an extra one. I've got an extra one. Number one, be patient. Yeah. That, that's the hardest thing, is be patient. Um, number two, keep a right spirit. Mm -hmm. Because it's so easy to allow the enemy in and speak. He speaks negativity all the time into our thinking uh, when you're in that sort of fallow place <clears throat> um, he, he can speak into our spirits and, and, and because of that we need to dwell on his word yeah. we need to stay positive yeah. um, in that and recognise you know that we do have an enemy but we also have God a God who is much more for us than the enemy is against us yeah. Yeah. so be patient keep a right spirit and enjoy the moment um, yeah. You know, not to worry too much about the next season and the next and the future, yeah. but actually, what we receive today, give us today our daily bread. Of course, we know that scripture, don't we? Yeah. Um, but so often we want our next weeks and the weeks after and for the rest of our life, Lord, yeah. when God says, I'll, I'll provide for you today. And that's not just about food, I think that's every provision for our lives. Yeah. Um, so, you know, don't stress, uh, <laughs> just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Um, and of course, the biggest one is to trust Him. Yeah. To trust Him. Yeah. We, 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 I didn't mention this, but we, uh, we definitely have one clear thing which we feel God has said, and that is that we, we spend more time with my son out in Australia. Okay. Um, and we can actually go out for a, a, a reasonable length of time. Um, but we were looking this up last night on the internet, and there's absolutely no travel permitted into to Australia. <laughs> At the moment. At the moment. moment. Uh, um, yeah. And so you say, well, Lord, you've said it. You've said this into our spirits. Yeah. We've just got to trust you until yeah. the time comes when mm. they do open the door. Yeah. yeah. And, and we can we can spend some time out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's all in God's hands, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Great it stuff. Is. Well, I mean, we are super honoured uh, you know, to stand with you. And we're so thankful to God for how you've invested you know all of our lives here in 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 this church i know mine my wife you know we've we've been blessed by you and your family in many ways and you know we'll continue to be because you guys are, are, are a blessing and you're a gift Bless. to uh to this family and um we just celebrate you and thank god for the gift that you are yes thank you. yes so um, yeah the best is yet to come the best is, is yet, yet to, to come. come none of us retire yeah. do we yes. no we, we don't just, we, no, go, we embrace a new season Cheer step right. into it don't know what the future holds but we no. know who holds our future that's yeah right. that's right yeah that's right. okay guys well thanks so much for tuning in today we just wanted to do this um use this just to give you a bit of an update and obviously to have a little cheeky chat with this amazing couple um who we love dearly and um so i'm going to say a, a prayer and then uh, we'll call it a day heavenly father i bless you and thank you for robert and hazel lord we just thank you for the wonderful way they've served you first and foremost but then your people um yeah a, a great sacrifice and cost and we honor them before you yes and um, we thank you for their faithful service to you their faithful service to your people we thank you for their diligence their servant hearts their willingness to do whatever it takes 
um, to advance your kingdom. We thank you for the faith stories of hearing about what they've been involved in and how they've contributed to so many things of, that you've done here uh, in Cornwall. And now as a uh, stand, stand in this new season, we just stand alongside them yes. and we pray your blessing upon their lives. Yes. Would you lead, guide and provide for them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you guys. Bless you, man. You. Thanks so bless much you. for jumping in with us today. Great. God bless Thanks you guys. Have a great day. Bless you. Guys. Bless you. <laughs>